What's poppin', how's it going? So today we're gonna be messing around with Lightroom today, gonna make a new Lightroom preset. I've been contemplating kind of changing up my grid just a little bit. Last week I went down to New York City and met up with my buddy Jake Fru and we just kind of shot around the city. So I'm gonna take some of those photos from that day and just mess around with them. So I'm just gonna do a kind of live-esque-ish type editing session in Lightroom and then when I'm done I will uh, I'll put the Lightroom preset up for free download. Alright so I got a few photos in Lightroom ready to go but I think I'm gonna start with this one and usually what I would do with something like this is bring down the exposure bring down the highlights and then bring up those shadows I actually might bring the exposure back up and just bring the highlights all the way down uh, I like to put a little bit of clarity into my image a little bit of contrast into that bad boy. Here's our before and after side by side. So I think like as far as correcting the image itself, this is a great start. Photo's looking a little cool. I think I might warm it up just a bit. Yeah, that's looking nice. Honestly, I just kind of want to go for like a moody look. I'm just going to create a little S curve on my image. I'm going to bring the I'm going to lift the blacks up just a little bit to give that kind of faded, you know, look, if you will. Bring our exposure back up just a couple. Ooh, that's too much. Maybe right about there. Ooh, that's looking, that's looking nice. Yeah, I'm digging that. Let's just bring down the saturation in the blues just a touch, just a touch. Trying to find where I like them. I usually like them kind of in the aquas and the teals. So there's this green down here and I kind of just want to cut this out. So I'm just going to bring the saturation down on that. Maybe a little bit here. Shift these over more to the blues. I'm digging this a lot. This is dope. Wow. I don't like magenta, so I'm going to cut that too. And purple, just the scotch. So I'm really just kind of focusing on, you know, having a little bit of the blues in there and then keeping those warmer tones in there just so we get that color contrast. I want more like reds and oranges rather than yellows. So let's shift all the yellows that way. Yeah. I just mess around with my HSL a little bit more and kind of dial in the look that I'm going for. Yeah, that's looking... That's looking a lot better overall. I feel like the colors are, are more white balanced. Everything's balanced and you still have that color contrast in there. I'm digging this. I'm digging this a lot. That's looking pretty dang dope. I think I'm gonna call this good for now and then maybe come back to it later, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with where this is at. So I am going to copy these settings and I'm gonna bring them over here and see how it affects the image. Now, as you can see, this image is underexposed so we might have to uh, make some adjustments over in this general area but let's see what happens yeah yeah that uh definitely need to make some adjustments <laughs> let's just bring the exposure up and bring those highlights back in bring the shadows all the way up more Okay, this is looking pretty, pretty dang good. Yeah, that's looking dope. Wow, I'm digging that. Honestly, I wouldn't change too much. Like, if you kind of toggle back and forth between these photos, like, I would say, okay, yeah, that looks like a photo set right there. And the thing is, is that you can take a preset and just adjust, you know, your your exposure, your highlights, your your shadows, all that stuff. I mean, those sort of things kind of do depend on how your image was exposed and the dynamic range that's in your image. So, you can't just slap a preset onto a photo and expect it to look good every time. You have to make those minor adjustments. Yeah, I'm honestly like I'm really happy with how this looks. All right, I know that the exposure and the dynamic range in this photo is very similar to the next one so i will copy from here um let's bring the highlights up in this one exposure up just a little bit more uh let's lift up the shadows that's a little bit too much maybe right about there i'm gonna bring this 
black down just a little bit. And maybe bring the highlights down just a scotch. The whites down just a scotch. Gnarly. These are looking sick, man. I feel like the vessel is one of those things where it's hard to get a bad photo because it's just so cool. All right, then we got our last photo here. Just gonna smack that. Whoa. All right. Um, I'm gonna pull from this first one because I feel like this might be a little more accurate. I actually think I might make the preset from this photo. Yeah, because I like honestly, all I have to do is just really bring up the exposure in this image. Now his skin tones look really weird. I'm gonna have to bring the reds towards, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to bring the reds towards like an orange and maybe just desaturate them a little bit. Yeah, that's looking better. There's a little bit too much blue, I think, in this photo. I think I'm gonna bring it down just a touch. Yeah, there we go. Push them towards those teals. Yeah, I like the, the color contrast that we have going on here between the ground and the sky. That's looking dope. Bring the exposure up and I also actually bring the highlights down. Bring the whites down too. There's your before and after. Looking a lot better, a lot better. Yeah, I'm I'm a I'm a big fan of these photos right here. So if you do end up downloading this preset and you want to use this, just keep in mind that you may have to adjust your exposure, your highlights, and your shadows. But as far as the colors, they should be kind of pushed in the direction that I was pushing them. So feel free to download this. I want to thank Bubble Up for sponsoring today's video. Bubble Up is a super rad platform that allows you to store and share your files. I'm actually going to be using Bubble Up to share this Lightroom preset with you guys. If you head down to the link in the description below, you can actually get 100 gigabytes completely free for one year when you use the promo code bubbleup.com slash promo slash Burke. Use that promo code to sign up and then head to the link down in the description below and download the Lightroom preset and you'll get 100 gigabytes completely free for one year and a free Lightroom preset. Can't beat it. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Method box, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I uh I forgot to order pizza before I filmed this video, so I don't I don't have I can't I can't do what you requested. Um so maybe next time. Or if anybody else has any cool recommendations for how to end the next video, let me know in the comments below. See ya. That was really, like, really creepy at the, you know what, alright, I'll see you guys soon.